A death on ice this weekend. Former NHL player Adam Johnson died during a game after an opponent kicked him in the neck with the blade of his skate. This was during an English Hockey League game. Matt Petgrave skated towards Johnson, lifted his leg, slicing Johnson's throat on the ice. Johnson skated off with blood streaming from his neck and was taken to a local hospital where he was pronounced dead. Petgrave, the guy who kicked him, is a dirty player. He's a Canadian, and he was the most penalized player in the league last year. The team called the play a freak accident, but English police are investigating what looks like a murder on the ice. Let's ask former NHL star Sean Avery. Well, to me, Sean, it looks like homicide. What does it look like to you? Yeah, I mean, that's a pretty dangerous word to be throwing around. Um, I think that, so I've watched it. It's terrible. It's tough to watch. Uh, did this kid make a movement that was very unorthodox? Do I think that he was trying to make contact of some sort? Absolutely. Uh, do I think that he woke up and said, I'm going to murder somebody today? No. Um, I want everybody to be very careful, and I want you to understand one thing. The technology in our skates over the last 20 years, it's, it's incredible. It's a titanium blade. It's a thinner blade. It's much sharper than the blades that we skated on 20 years ago, the traditional steel. I think that we need to step back and take a look at, because there's been two players in the NHL, Taylor Hall, uh, he got cut. I think his he tore he got tendons cut in his wrist, and uh, another kid in Edmonton had his had his tendon cut in his ankle. You have to look at the blades on these skates. But you know, listen, I saw the hit. <sighs> I got a three year old that's playing hockey. Um, man, it's tough. Yeah, I it's mean, it tough. definitely makes uh, you think because that never seen a move like that in hockey. I don't watch a lot of hockey. People don't usually throw their skates up to guys' faces like that. And I'm not saying it was premeditated murder. I agree with you. But, I mean, they do have reckless homicide, negligent homicide. When you're throwing a blade, as you said, that dangerous up to someone's neck in a hockey move that no one's ever seen before, I don't like it. Yeah, it's an unorthodox. I saw the leg moved, and, and, it, and it shouldn't have been where it was. Um, but again, it's also an unprovable offense. I mean, how, how can you actually prove what the intent was or whether he, this is really, it, it, it's terrible because, you know, it's just awful, man. I can't even watch it. I can't watch the video back. Yeah. I mean, I can't even imagine what it's like for someone like you that's played to watch that. Probably uh, makes you think about having your children play. Well, I'm going to have my son sign up for hockey well, anyway because I think he's got great balance and great talent and great stick skills, just like his father did on the lacrosse field. So I'm not ready to, listen, I'm not ready to hang it game. up yet. <laughs> it's the best game in the world, uh, I'll say that. And the NHL is the best league in the world, and these guys are fast and they're strong, and it's different than it was. It sure is. It's, everything's changing. Whole world's changing.